This video will discuss how to use Excel Installer to solve an economic order quantity problem. In this particular problem, Dorsey Distributors has an annual demand for a metal detector of 1,440 units. The full purchase cost of a metal detector is $400. The carrying cost per year is 20% of the unit cost, and ordering cost is $25 per order. The company works 200 days a year, and lead time for its orders is two days. We see the assumptions of the problem reflected in the top of the top left of the model. The holding cost per unit per year is the holding cost percentage times the purchase cost. or $80 per unit per year. The demand per day is the total annual demand divided by the number of working days per year. The economic order quantity, or order quantity that we want to use in the problem, is a decision variable. We'll put 100 as a starting value and make this yellow to represent the fact that decision variable. The holding cost per year is the average inventory, which is the order quantity divided by 2, times the holding cost per unit per year. The ordering cost stated on an annual basis is the number of orders per year, and the number of orders per year is D divided by Q then multiplied by the fixed cost per order. So B1 divided by B10 is the number of orders per year. B4 is the cost per order. We add up these two values to get the total cost. What we see to the right is a chart for various order quantities that we might use, it shows the holding cost is the blue line, the ordering cost is the yellow line, so ordering cost decreases with the size of our order, and the total of the two lines, the vertical sum, is the green line. What we see in the graph is that the total cost appears to be about at its lowest when these other lines cross. We see that the total cost decreases first with an increase in the order quantity, and at some point we can see it starts to go gradually back upward. We want to find the lowest point on this curve, and it turns out the lowest point starts the lowest point is where these two lines cross. Now we need to find that exactly what that number is, although it looks like appears to be very close to 30. The total cost is going to be the objective. In solver, we'll set the objective to be total cost. We'll minimize the total cost. And we'll use the decision variable, the order quantity, as the changing value. In this case, we don't need any constraints. We do need to make sure that we have a non-negative order quantity. But that's set by having the check mark in this box. We need to use the GRG nonlinear solving. This error message is something that could potentially happen when we use the GRG nonlinear solving method on this problem. What happens is, if the order quantity goes to zero, there will be an error in the ordering cost because Q is in the denominator of the orders per year. Let's fix the solver model to accommodate this. We can add a constraint that the order quantity 
is greater than or equal to 1. That will keep the order quantity away from 0 and should keep us from getting the error in the bottom. Now we resolve. And we find the solution. The solution is 30, which is what it appeared to be on the graph. Notice that at this at this point, the ordering and holding costs are equal at 1,200. The reorder point is the demand during the lead time period. The lead time period is 2. The demand per day is 7.2. So in this model, we order 30 units at a time. When our inventory drops down to 14.4 units, we place the next order, and it will arrive just in time to replenish our inventory back up to 30 when it hits zero. Our cost of goods sold in this model is the annual demand times the purchase cost. Our average inventory is Q divided by 2, and the value of this average inventory is Q divided by 2 times the purchase cost. The inventory turnover is the cost of goods sold divided by the value of the average inventory. So we turn over our average inventory level 96 times over the course of the year. This is often used as a measurement, a performance measurement, for an inventory system.